Hello everybody, my name's Roy. I'm an MK Ultra survivor, also known as a targeted individual. And today I've got the great pleasure of having Deb with us. And Deb's from White Bear, Minas White Bear Lake, Minnesota. Nice to see you, Deb. Over to you, darling. Hello, how are you doing? All the better for seeing you. <laughs> okay, so where do you want me to start? Where do you want to start? Okay, I'll I'll start I'll start at the beginning. Okay. Um Okay. Uh I bought my house when my daughter was about six years old. And she's uh, I think she's thirty eight right now. No um so anyway, uh her dad killed himself. And so I bought, I bought another house and I got sick from it, but it was brand new. I got very ill from it. So I bought this one. This is in an older neighborhood and the house is like, right now the house is 124 years old, but it's a cute little house. It's very cute. And so um, I raised my daughter here and I started, the, there was a car wash down on the corner and um, we never had problems with it. And then this one company came in and bought it and they hired anybody and they made all kinds of noise. They were always noisy. There was no peace in the neighborhood. You know, there's an ordinance law that says that you, you can have, you know, you're entitled to peace in your home and in your yard everywhere. And every time I went out to work in my yard, it was noisy. And then I noticed uh, the, well, there was a new neighbor and he said, Deb, there was a guy that came up to me and asked me, it was like two in the morning. He asked me where he could buy some drugs. And they all these people were coming around here doing this. So um, then I started noticing that uh, kids were, uh, over there on bikes and they were delivering, I think they were delivering the drugs. I'm pretty sure because the vegetable guy told me that too. And when that happened, I thought, this is it. I'm just getting so tired of this. So I, I called and I turned them in for selling drugs. Well, after that, all the hell broke loose. Um, I started getting, well, actually I remember the day that it happened. All these cars were parked alongside of the street. It was the strangest thing. And it was real hot that day. And it was summer. And um, they were parked up and down the street. And there were people in them. And all over in the parking lot. Like they were taking information. It was, I don't know. I just, I knew they were there for me. And so I, I, uh, um, I called someone at the police station because I've been calling about some of this stuff. I said, what are all these cars doing here? And they, yeah, um, they said, <clears throat> well, we don't know. Nothing's going on. You know, I mean, they didn't do anything about it anyway, but it was just strange and they were in and out all day. So what I think it was is that they were setting this targeting up they were setting it all up I think the owner of the car wash did this because she owns car washes nationwide okay and so after that happened I started getting all this loud noise from the trucks and the cars the loud bass People coming around at night making noises, girls, people singing real loud, two, three in the morning. I couldn't sleep with my windows open anymore. And uh, and then uh, um, what happened after that? Um, oh yeah, they were they were revving their engines real loud. They were blowing black smoke in front of my house, and uh loud back and forth back and forth peeling around the corner you know 
And so I had to start calling the police. I should have never did that, you know. I wish I would have never did it. But there's a whole record of me calling the police over this. And it never stopped. The police really never did anything about it. So that tells you right there, okay? And uh, so then I started seeing cars with one tail light, one headlight, um, bright lights. Um, that It wasn't that bad back then like it is now. But I noticed that. And then it happened while I was a reserve deputy with the, with the sheriff, okay? And I noticed some things there, um, like they called us for a detail. There was a missing person. So we were walking all over in the woods and they wouldn't walk with me in there. I was all alone, but they were down further. So when I went down further, they spread out like they didn't want to be around me. I never understood that, you know? And um, I just thought they were they were jealous of me because Sometimes I was on a detail and then the sergeant would say, take the squad over to this area and do this detail for me. So then after I got done, I brought the squad back and then all the other reserves were asking me why I got to do that. Where was I? You know, all this crap. I said, well, if you want to know, then go ask him. I didn't have to explain anything to him. But I think it, it it was there somewhat. And then what did I say that lady was uh, at the sheriff's department? She was a, uh, what are they called again? The guy said it on the, on the interview. He said it on an interview with you. Uh, God dang, I can't remember. It had something to do with the Masons. Okay. Well, so she was that, and she was real mean to me, and I could never figure out why. Oh, well, Eastern now, Star. Yeah, that's what she was. Yep. I never knew what that was. She was that, and sh she was just terrible towards me. So, you know, I just went on and did things that they asked me to do, and I was there every time they wanted me. And, you know, and then I got involved with this guy and he complained all the time about me doing that. And, you know, I don't know, just, I just quit. So anyway, um, then, uh, then came the, uh, the weapons, the weaponry. And I didn't know what to do about that. You know, I, First of all, I should have told you when I figured out when I was when I was targeted. Um, I looked on the internet. I looked I looked on YouTube, and I saw Ella Free, and then I I listened to her stuff, and then I I I didn't want to listen to it anymore. I said no, you know I ignored it, and the more this happened to me, then I called back and I listened again and all these stories that the people were telling were just happened just like what was happening to me and so I was I was scared I didn't have anyone to go to if I mentioned anything to anyone they did they thought they didn't want to hear about it because they never heard of anything like that and I tried to prove it to them they still wouldn't listen they just I don't know what you're talking about, you know. So uh, that's how that went. And then I started finding more people on there. Well, I got to know Ella Free really good. You know, she's really a nice lady. I just love her. And um, and then I met Karen Stewart. And Karen Stewart's, uh, you know, she's targeted. And we've had a lot of phone conversations. And I just started listening to all kinds of things so I could learn how to deal with this and how to handle it. And, you know, they told you what to do and what not to do. And, uh, you know, I I tried to be the best girl that I could be because I'm a good girl. You know, I don't, I don't do mean things to people. And I never did a crime in my life. And, uh, you know, I came from a strict family. And, 
you know, we did anything wrong, we, we got the punishment, we got the belt. <laughs> but, you know, I kind of grew from that. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, uh, it started making me stronger by li by listening to stories about these people. And, and I would go, then I started to listen to different podcasts, uh, Derek, uh, who else, uh, all different kinds of people had things on Frank, you know, and yep. that helped, that helped me a lot. I'm telling you, uh, it, it took away a lot of my frustration, yeah. but you know, when the, when those electronic devices came, that was even more scarier because first they were, they were hitting me in my thyroid. So I could feel something moving around in there. And then my voice got real hoarse. I didn't I didn't know why I could barely talk. And uh they were putting uh they were doing my teeth. I lost all my molars. I lost these two front teeth. I lost a tooth here over wait. Yeah, right there. You know, uh what else? Uh when did it actually start, Dad? It started in 2010. 2010. Wow, it's been going on a while as well. Because people are going to ask what that is you've got hanging up as well, the protection that you've got around you. Yeah, yeah, That the Smilar, I tried to do away with it, but... I couldn't find any relief. I mean, I... I, I suppose people should invest with it because I buy so much of it, you know. Might as well go to the stock market and buy stocks. But uh, I have, uh, you know, I got like three layers hanging up there. Sometimes I have five it's coming from the closet. I got mirrors on there, sliding mirror doors. And... I'm telling you, it's uh, it's like murder, and I have to sleep with it over my head. I can't sleep in a bed. You know, I heard I heard people sleep in bathtubs on top of washers and dryers, and you know, I mean, I'm sleeping in a chair. It's sad. It's really sad how we have to live. Well, it's you know, not living, is it, Deb? It's an existence. No, it isn't. And I'm, we should I'm, have to exist like this. I, I, I'm being cheated out of, out of my retirement. Yeah. You know, nobody should have to live like this. And it's, it's disgusting. And these, these scumbags, they, uh, I always get on the thing and I'll say, I want to tell you something, scumbags. You know, you're going to get caught. Yeah. And they are going to get caught. You yeah, know, you're going to get just click you're going to jail. I'm going to handcuff you and I'm going to have the key and I'm going to lock you right behind there. Yeah. And then when they tell me to turn the switch on, I'm going to turn it on. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know. And, and, and all of the money that they've taken from us, Deb, uh, because they've kept me out of work for 28 years or they've had me on disability for, for 19 years now. So, you know, I, I, and I've been tortured for 28 years. That's just terrible. I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. You've been going for it for so long, Deb. So, so why didn't the police help you? And you were you were one of them as well, Deb. It doesn't make sense. I don't. I don't know, but but they're they're very nice to me when I call them. You know, when I had a problems with my ex drinking and I didn't want them here anymore, they helped me get them out of here. You know, and they were good to me. Where do you want us to take them? I'm not even married to the guy. I I didn't know where. The, I said take him anywhere. Just get him out of here. Yeah. You know. Uh, so I do think you get voices, Deb? Deb? Huh? Do you get voices, or is it mainly the microwave attacks? I don't get voices. I can what? hear. I can hear the frequencies in my ears, and I don't oh, think yeah. a lot of people believe me. And this thing helps me. 
I can move it. This It's a copper cone. I have it on TikTok, how to make them. And I made a whole thing and TikTok uh, deleted it and said it was dangerous. Anything that helps any of us, this, is, this helps. They don't want us, they don't want me showing this, okay? I know people that made them and they were stolen from their house. Brilliant. But when my ears ring, I stick this right up to my ear and I move it around and my ears stop ringing. And then I, I, I get the frequencies off my head. I have a chip right here in my nose. When they did the COVID test, they put a chip up there. And this clicks all over in my face. Click, 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 click. And I have to hold it there and move it around until my nose stops hurting. They're trying to cut my breathing off when this is happening. And I can even stop a drone. You know, when a drone is on me, I just move this back and forth. I can, I mean, it's real, it's so strong that my eyes auto automatically blink. They keep blinking and my jaw kind of moves around. I have no control over it. And then when I stop it, everything goes back to normal. This is really a good thing. And if anyone wants to know how to make them, they are on TikTok and they're on my YouTube. What is your YouTube, Deb? I got to look at it. I haven't posted anything. Oh, that's anything. all right. That's okay. And then I'll give you the link. I'll send you the link. Okay. And then you can post it. Yeah, I'll put that in the description. Yeah, because um, Deb was explaining last time we chatted that that's 8 millimeter copper, isn't it, Deb? Um, with it's copper. 20 gauge. 20 gauge. You get it in, you get six sheets off of Amazon. And I think it's 20 some dollars maybe. And and you you cut the whole sheet diagonally and, and you put the two pieces together and then the other piece you kind of have to you have to piece it in, you know. And you get the copper tape, the big wide copper tape, tape it together, you get yourself a it's called a uh radar reflector. And the and the I think the Navy had them on their page. They took it all down. You can't find these things anywhere if you research. You can't find them. So. So how are things now, Deb? Well, now we're getting tortured by the big lights. They're using their headlights, and and they they're not normal. They're normal at first. And then they make them real big, you know, like a big spotlight. And it, it's very blinding. You can't you can't see. And if I'm driving at night, I have to wear these yellow sunglasses so I can see. And uh when they when they put them big lights on me, I have to hold my hand like that so I can't see it and drive at the same time. And also, do not, do not ever look into those uh, ultraviolet lights because they can do some damage to your eyes. And uh, But we're having a lot of problems. You know, they penetrate. They, they cause this, this big heat. They penetrate into you yeah. and into your nervous system. And I'm not kidding you. It's bad. Yeah. But I need to have one of them copper boxes. You got the copper box? Yeah. Okay, I made these copper boxes right here. I put the tape in them. Oh, and uh, I use these for the scalar waves on the floor. But look, can you see the burns? Can you see burns on the sides of the box? Yes. There's a lot of a lot of bright black there, yeah. So yeah. Wow. These are burns from their from their weapons. From on um, being on my floor. I couldn't even be in my kitchen. And they were they're on the floor. And uh wow. can you see those burns? Yeah, it's they're everywhere. Yeah. So I uh, I couldn't be in my kitchen and I put them in different different directions on my floor and it helped. It kind of stopped it. 
Uh, but then I get I get the the scalar waves from across the street from these loser apartment buildings where all these rich people live. Yep. So, uh, you know, you have to try different things. I made I made several of these boxes. I got them all over my house. And then give me that painted. Give me that. Right there, yeah. Okay, so so I painted. I'm using the stuff that works for me, the powder stuff. And uh, <laughs> this is a piece of cardboard, okay? Well, Billy painted over it with two coats already. And when I move it in front of the phone, I can hear I can hear those frequencies shut off. Um, he said that he could get lasers through it, through it, but you know, our, our frequencies are different, but I'll show you the paint that we're using. Were you, it's not paint. This is, uh, this is what you pour into a gallon of paint and you can get it on Amazon. It's high density it's, tungsten powder. Yeah. And you pour it in a gallon, you pour the whole thing in the gallon of paint you poured the whole, did you just take yeah. the plastic? It comes with plastic on it, and he took come. He took the plastic off. But you pour it into the gallon of paint, and then you have to have one of the mixers for your drill. Right. And you mix it really good into that paint. And uh, how many coats did you put on the bathroom? Uh, took about three, four coats, about four coats. He painted with kilts and or kil kills. Hey, you know what I'm talking about, K-I-L-Z. It prevents mold, you know. Okay. It's really good for in bathrooms. But he put uh, four coats on the walls, and I can tell the difference. Plus, so, we're, so can I. he can tell the difference, too. Wow. It kind of shuts everything out, okay? Oh, but brilliant. he's got two more coats of the color that I want. He's going to put two more coats on there. And so it'll have probably, let's see, six coats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And you I told it you, does he, help, Deb? Yes, it really does. Oh. When I when I when I did my laundry area, it was so strong. I'm not kidding you. I I thought Where I was did gonna you die. Your I, text, Deb? Which part of your body? Uh, my head, everywhere, my nervous system, my right. nervous system and up my legs, they're working on that right now. And then and then what they're doing, they're trying to burn things in my stomach. Yeah, so I have to sleep with mylar all over my body. No, I say that I ask that because mine's always up my head. Always up my well, head. Well, I usually wear that scarf. Uh, the silver copper scarf and uh let's see where is it yeah this right here i usually wear this on my head and no, it I... protects my head and uh i use also i use uh i use a a green laser oh yeah can you see it, can you see it? yeah i'd say that on the ceiling Okay, so I go around the edge of the ceiling, and it, the all those frequencies are sticking around the edge of the ceiling, I think, because there's metal there, you know, where the ceiling and the wall connects. So I go around the whole ceiling with this thing, and for some reason, it, it's, it's disconnecting all the things that are crisscrossing all over, you know? Have you got but a radiation meter there, Deb? Have you have you measured the uh, EMF there? Yeah, but but now guess what they did? They're using something new, and half the time the EMF don't show up. Right. They're, okay. I'm I'm telling you that stuff. It goes right through me. It it is attacking my nervous system so bad, yeah. and I have to I have to go up and down my body. Yeah. Because see, around your head mostly. It's like you have spikes coming out of your head with all these things connected to you and all around your body. 
Yeah. And if you go up and down your body with this, or um, let me see, a TV remote. You can use a TV remote. Okay. Okay, so here's the TV remote, and you can press any. I use the mute button because it's going to cause problem my TV to come on and everything. Yeah. Okay, so do you. Oh, no, the picture's gone off. Oh, you <laughs> you haven't stopped the. Uh... Oh, oh, you're back again. <laughs> oh, I... it stopped it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Unbelievable. Let me see if it does it. Hold on. Can you see it? It, it might have interrupted with the hotspot, Dan. Oh my gosh! All okay, right. so anyway, you can point this. Never point it at your body, okay? But you can go around your face, around your head. You can uh, go up and down your body with this and it disconnects it disconnects all the frequencies even on your back okay you hold the you, if you have you're having back problems you hold it like that down your back your spine and then and then you hold it like down by your butt and you point it up and then you point it this way up and down your back and then this way up and down your back I have TIs do that, and they said it's amazing. It works. It works. Brilliant. To get the frequencies off. And then, what else? Hey, Billy. Yeah. You got the flashlight? What? Can you give me the flashlight? Yeah. I'll tell you what I do with the flashlight. And guess what? I was looking. You got one? Can you make it? Can you make it flicker? Do the strobe light on it? That's it. Wait a minute. He's got he's got one right here. Look at this. Yeah. I've ne I've never used it before though, Dan. Because what, what right. happened make it with... go real fast. Yeah, like that. Like this. Okay. And I'm telling you, drones hate this thing. I I have some uh, drones on me in the morning or at night. And I go outside and I'm like that all over the sky. And they're out of here. They're out of here, man. Yeah. Um, I, I, I've never used it. And the reason with me, Dad, is because when I was getting V2K, I used to put that I was part of the tinfoil hat brigade for a while. Because <laughs> well, I, I was got, too, I, and I didn't have it. <laughs> well, I, I got a little tiny bit of relief from it. But what they did then, the V2K, the voices came through to me. And it said, oh, you've learned about that, have you? And they just changed the frequency and made it a lot worse. So I didn't bother after that. Well, that's when I had the lumps cut out of my throat after that because they ramped it up. Well, um, what else do I use? I use all kinds of stuff. I'm telling you, I... Well, I got I got a blue laser and a green laser, and what the blue what the green laser don't get, the blue laser will get. Good. And I shine it not on the sky. I shine it in my house on the ceiling, and I'm moving it around to get that drone. Yeah. And it don't like it. It don't like it. So the EMF reader, you see, because th 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 this is mine, Dad. And um, right, th 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 this is mine. I don't know how to work that. Sure. You got it. You got a nice one. I like your. I like your. Where did you get yours? Just um, uh, uh, Amazon. Right now, if I go near the Wi-Fi, right, it goes crazy. But oh the EMF here normally. When I go this far back, it starts. There we go. Right. So, so, so now oh. it's gone down. Right. But then, 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 then the minute I find the implant that I've got here. Oh my gosh. I saw that thing turn. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's, uh, 
Well, that's where my implant is, Dad. Just here, oh. and the, uh, and and then that's everywhere I go. It's like it, 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 it's um, it's it, it's just here somewhere. There it is. There. That's terrible. Yeah, exactly. So uh, and there's uh, there, there's no reason for it. And uh, uh, um, somebody I went out with for for lunch a couple of days ago, he said to me, he said, "Well, what I do find is it's str it's strange that it's going off on your head." But there has to be a reason for it, you know. So anyway, I'll come back closer to the Wi-Fi, and it's going to go off because the router's up there. So oh the place right there. So that is the electromagnet fre frequency coming into the property. That that would kill me. That would kill me. You got the Wi-Fi system, right? Yeah, I I I. I I, I, I've only been in the reality for a little while, Dad. You know, this is all new to me. I know it sounds stupid, but, but yeah. I didn't have no knowledge of nothing because they blocked my brain so severely, you know. And this is only, I'm only learning all this in the last few months because I've been talking to hundreds of people, but that they wouldn't allow me to absorb the information. But That's anyway, horrible. This that, is about that you, is Deb. Bad. That's so, bad. Well, so um De De Deb and I know each other a little bit because Deb's got a friend with her, which is Billy, and Billy's another TI, and Billy's come to visit um Deb. And yep. um, you know, all of us that especially TIs, targeted individuals that have got anybody in their lives, very, very lucky, aren't we, Deb? To have other people. Billy, Billy's genuine. Let me tell you, he is genuine. Oh, I he know is, that. I know there's that. There's nothing crooked about the guy. I can leave my house and I don't worry about him going through my stuff. I, mm. uh, you know, he don't worry. He'll he'll go to the store. I'm not. I have no desire to go up into his room and look at his stuff. I don't know what he has. I could care less. You know. Yeah. But I, I, I just want to. Sorry, Deb. I just want to say. For anybody that's going to complain about me having a smoke or a drink, I've been cleaning the cupboards for about 12, 13 hours today. And I was telling Deb and Billy earlier because I didn't know what stuff I had in this flat. So today I just cleared everything out and there's hardly anything left now because I've given most stuff away. And, um, uh, and I, I haven't stopped. It's 20 past 12 at night. And I started about nine o'clock this morning. So, and I stopped for, a, I cooked a pizza and then I got on with the rest of it and I finished it off. Sorry, Deb, I didn't mean to interrupt because I, <laughs> uh, uh, I just so don't sorry, know why darling. you think, I don't know why you have to explain to anybody why you're doing that. What we do is our business. If I want to uh, have I, a glass I, of wine. I know that, but it's not fashionable to smoke and have a beer and that. But but I'm worn out at times, Deb. And I think we said, well, you deserve it. And what one of the other TI people who, who who fell out with me, she said, Well, you want to stop drinking because I called them out for us for some reason. But anyway, that's that's gone. That's by the There's a, you don't have to explain anything. I it don't bother me. Oh, thanks, Deb. No, I don't I, uh, anyway. But yeah, I want to show you about I want to show you about these radiation glasses that oh, I bought. Oh, wow. They're radiation glasses. Yeah, they're 125 bucks. I got the box in the closet. There's some people that want to know where I got them. They're lifetime guaranteed. Oh. But I'm telling you, guess what I did? I wore these in Costco, okay? Right. And, and a guy came up to me and says, oh, I like your glasses. Where did you get them? I said, I bought them on Amazon. They're, they helped me with these lights here. But do you, know, you want to know something? What I really should have said? They're called perp glasses. <laughs> they, they help keep the perps away. But Brilliant. I'm telling you, I, I think these interfere with your signal. Because guess what? I look back. He was on the phone. I don't know what he was doing. He was letting all these people know. Uh, about me because he kept looking at me. He oh, wow. asked me that for a reason. 
I think I interfered with their stuff. Yeah, and I know I, I I interfere with their crap all the time. I know they hate me more than anyone in this world. I love it. Uh oh. That's right. No, all I was doing is I, I was sharing a screen, Deb. Oh, okay. And um, basically, it's the radiation glasses. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you yeah. go. But we, we, we don't want to submit that, so we'll try and reload that. Ah, oh, there we go. There yep. we go. This is the English prices, this is, for anybody that's interested, Deb. So there we cool. go. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'm glad you pulled that up. Yeah. So we got to, oh, we'll close that, and then we'll be able to see. There we go. For anybody, I didn't even know about them. You thank you for uh, educating me on that. There we go. For anybody well, who's interested, any targets, any MK, MK Ultra survivors, and that is interesting because I've got macular degeneration in both eyes, Deb. Cataracts oh in both God. eyes. And I got cataracts too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'll consider them when if I've got some money one day. Brilliant. And that might save our eyesight a little bit more. Thanks for sharing that, Deb. That never even knew they existed. And another thing, too, the reason I put these on is because my eyes burn like hell. Mine they feel burning. like they're bulging out of my yeah. head and they're going to explode. Yeah. So exactly I put so. these on, I put them on, and I hear all the static, like, you know how clothes sound when they when when you take yes, them out of the dryer. Yes, yeah. That's what's going on with my eyes. I got all the static, and if I got cameras in my eyes, maybe I'm messing them up, huh? I hope so. Yeah, I sleep with them on sometimes. Well, you see, that makes sense as well because um, a lot of us, or some of us, are believed to have retina implants as well, Deb. Yeah. Yep, and th these are kind of big. They kind of slide off. I got to put some things on there to make them stay on. No, they look nice. And you say they're effective as well, Deb? Yes, they okay. are. Okay. And then get this. I want to show you something else. Brilliant. When my chip is when my chip is acting up, I just go over my face with it, and I can hear all these snaps, snap, snap, click, click, click. You know down in my throat right you know yeah anything that you can use to to disrupt what they're doing is cool it's really yeah. good well exactly and i know i know they they're they're mad because I'll, once i do something they're they're flooring it by my house they're just going like a maniac you know like they usually do yeah and uh when we were chatting at the weekend um Deb, um, a lot of targeted individuals will say, you know, apart from you being lucky to have one another in each other's lives as friends, um, the good thing is, is you've got each other's back as well, Deb, because yep. nobody understands this. And like the isolation is horrible for all of us. And, do, do, do you know, I've got a friend and uh, I've got two friends in wheelchairs. One's a paraplegic. And oh, they're, both, no. they're both being targeted. My friend Claire oh, and my, my friend gosh. David. Yes. My friend David's a paraplegic and they attack him at home. And my friend Claire, she, she's in a wheelchair and they attack her relentlessly as well. Well, if they watch this video, maybe they can find some relief from me, you know, from what I've shown. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, no, I, I, I'll make sure to mention everything that you've shared as well, Deb. Yep. So in the hope that some people will get some relief from it as well. But but I want to tell you something about Billy. I've known him, and then, you know, he was commenting on my TikTok, and I don't know how to run TikTok, and he said, I get the same as you, you know, and then we really connected, and then he wanted to come out because, see, he's trying to help other TIs just like I am. And I was telling him about this stuff. He says, I also, you know, because they said I'm trying to paint, I'm this and that, I'm trying to do stuff. He says, well, I know how to do that. I can do that when I come out. And when he came out, my my niece, I told my niece, she goes, you what? You're having someone come there? You know, well, she wanted to see who he was. 
And then, you know, she says, you're, you're too trusting. You're too trusting. I said, well, I can trust this guy. I know what God gives me the message. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I never felt anything off on Billy. And, uh, and then, and then my other niece sent her dad over here. Well, he was, he, he was going to help me with the water thing. And then I call, I called him and then my niece called him and asked her, asked him if he was coming over here to see who this guy was. And they ended up liking Billy. Oh, good. <laughs> I know, like them. Yeah, but you could you know. not like Billy, to be fair, could and, you? And even his kids were questioning. That was a shock to them, too. You know, so it's both sides. You know, right. who, who's, whose house are you going to? Why are you, you know, going? Why are you going? <laughs> And and believe it or not, he he's just really homesick. He misses his boys so bad. You know, I think uh, I think being gone too long for him is not a good thing because he has to be with his boys. You know, and they but they do call. I I can hear him talking to his daughters and his. Right. They all call. He's well connected with them. Yeah, I, I, I'll tell you what. If if a family member believes you. How lucky you are. Yeah, because they I've did. Got a, they I've got a lovely friend. She calls me every day. And she's in the States. And sadly, they've really messed with her nervous system. Her head. Yeah. Her head, her, her head goes like that. And it's so it's so horrible. And, uh, you know, when she puts the phone on, uh, the camera on, her head starts going like that. Oh, and um, that's, that's my friend. Yes, that's my friend Lee. This is a mention for Lee. And also Katie, P Katie Peter say. Are you familiar with Katie? Mm -mm. Right. Well, she came to stay with me twice. Um, she's an ex CNN reporter. Um, mm. She used to work for CNN in London for nine years. And then she was put on the program. And um, Katie, basically, when she came here, she starts, she's got all these moves going on. And she starts making all these noises. And it's she's, trying, she's trying to talk. Yeah, well, trying it, 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 exactly. well, well, no, because she's being sold on the dark web, apparently. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Uh, and um, Katie's the one who I got a phone call the second time she was in England. She hadn't come to visit me. She'd come mm -hmm. to visit somebody else and um, cut a long story short, he was another target and he tried to run her over in the car. So she phoned me up, Roy, Roy, I need your help. She said, I need to take me to hospital. Dan's tried to run me over. So I picked her up in my hometown and took her to hospital because he tried to run her over. Yeah. That's sad. Well, what, where did he go to jail then? That? Well, 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 no, 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 nothing happens. The thing with targeted individuals is you can't report nothing, can you? Because, you know, she'd no. say, well, I came from the States to meet up with them, and then he tried to run me over. That's terrible. That yeah. is, that's, that, wow. Mm. At least she had you to go get her, right? Oh, yeah, well, I took, well, luckily enough, I had a car, and I could pick her up, and, and it was only a mile away. And I, I took her straight to hospital and she stayed with me for the rest of the week. Yeah. Oh, my goodness sakes. Yeah. I thought you knew about that. Okay. No, I never, yeah. no, I didn't know about that. Oh, right. Well, she, 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 she's with her mum and dad in Texas at the moment. Yeah, because um, she, she works in New Orleans in the summer. And then she goes back <laughs> to Texas for the winter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, she's lucky to be alive. That's, that's a, that's. Yeah. But oh, well, the only, the example I was given, Deb, was the nervous system, like you, you were mentioning, you know, they attack our nervous systems and my friend Lee with her head and Katie with all of this stuff. And she starts, you know, making all these noises. And when Katie came to me the first time, this, it scared me. You know, I thought, bloom her neck, because she's not bad. <laughs> and I, I, I hadn't been used to it, and it's like, wow. And then, you know, you get used to one another. Yeah. Yeah. That's terrible. Yeah. 
Sorry, Deb, I didn't mean, mean to go off tangent. Then you were, mentioning, oh, no, that's okay. you were mentioning about that. No, because this is about you. This is to help. Yep. Um, I, you know, I like to hear about you too. I like, I like you. I like you a lot. I like you a lot as well, Deb. I've got <laughs> to know you. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I got to know you. I didn't know who you were. Uh, Billy I didn't know who the... I was either, Deb. I didn't know who <laughs> I was till about three months ago, believe me. It's like like I was saying to you and Billy earlier. Today, I've spent 11 or 12 hours cleaning out this place. And I took everything. I, I had about 80 pairs of socks. And because all I kept doing is I was getting so much gang stalking and street theatre, I just kept going out all the time you know, and buying stuff. And then th then everywhere I went, there was loads of people around me. And they kept giving me what we've discovered is the nudge. Do you remember? Oh, uh, you know, I, oh, I never got that, but I'll tell you about something else. Right. They, they get right behind me in the, in line at the, at the store and they get real close to my butt, you know, and right. I don't like that. I could feel the heat from it. Right. And I had a big card. I was I was at a feed store. I was buying stuff like uh, cat litter for my cats and dog food and all this. I had a big cart full of stuff. I climbed over that cart. So the cart was behind me. And and I was I was going through the the girl was checking everything out. And uh the guy the guy had his eyes like this he's going I can help you put this in your vehicle I, I said no you can't I'm I'm just fine you know and I, I got another guy to come out and help me I don't know what that guy was going to do you know I mean they they treat us trashy yeah. I never had I never had so many dirty looks in my whole life you know yeah. but they they play with my hair while I'm in line. If I leave my hair down, they play with my hair and whip, flip it. You know, I don't like that crap. I don't like people touching me. But that's what the purpies do. Yeah. Deb, do you, do you mind if I share something on the screen? Oh, uh, no, I don't mind at I, all. I, I want to share this because it's gone global. And basically, it's an officer who's um, actually come, uh, who's actually been entrapped into telling the truth i'm going to pause this for a, a, a second and then i'm going to find the video and i'll share it because it's only recent and i think it's very important for our audience to show to to see this i, I won't be a sec deb <laughs> 